Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can we run Selenium automation scripts on a locally open browser? That is the browser which is opened in your local machine, okay? Generally, when you run the Selenium automation scripts, okay, the Selenium script will launch its own browser instance. It will not pick our local browser instance, okay? Rather, it will pick a new, fresh browser instance. Rather, if you want to use a browser instance, which is there in our local machine, then what we have to do? For that, we have to follow this process, okay? So let's go step by step. First, we need to find where exactly in our local machine, this chrome.exe path, exe file is available, okay? chrome.exe file path is available. Let's go to that chrome.exe file path. For that, here in the search, type Chrome. When you type Chrome, here Google Chrome app option will come. Right click on that and say open file location. Then you will be taken to this kind of programs and in that uh, you will see some shortcut kind of thing like Google Chrome shortcut, okay? I mean, uh, the launcher kind of stuff, okay? So right click on that one and say open file location, okay? Don't stop here, rather right click on that and say open file location. It will take you to this, this application path where you can see this chrome.exe file. The path where this chrome.exe file is there, there we need to launch our command prompt at that path. So for that, the shortcut is select this path where you want to launch the command prompt, okay? Type CMD and press enter. By doing that, you will get a command prompt exactly at this path. You see where this Chrome driver dot Chrome, sorry, Chrome.exe file is available. Okay. Chrome browser, right? Chrome.exe file is available. Now in this, you have to type a command in this uh, path location where the Chrome.exe file, uh, file is available. Type this thing, Chrome.exe space hyphen hyphen. Then you have to write this commands that is a uh, hyphen hyphen remote hyphen debugging hyphen port okay even i don't remember them remote hyphen debugging hyphen port is equal to then you have to say is equal to and uh, you have to give some any port number no problem uh, it's up to you which port you want to give okay which port number you want to give you can manually give your own desired port number so I'll think about one port number. Let's say I will think about uh, nine, one, let's say nine, one, eight, three. Some random port number I'm giving, nine, one, eight, three, okay? After that, give a space. And there is one more attribute you have to give here in this command. That is this one. That is a uh, hyphen hyphen user hyphen data hyphen directed, okay? Give that hyphen hyphen user user hyphen data hyphen direct okay i think that is the one right data underscore uh hyphen directory is equal to and here in our machine go to one location let's have any location in your machine you can go and in that location you just create a folder and say chrome profile there or directory any name you can give for this folder. So in this, a Chrome profile will be created in this folder. Okay, when you run this command, when you give this path of this folder and run this command here, it will create a Chrome profile, a new Chrome local browser, local Chrome browser profile will be created here. For that, I'll go inside this folder and copy the path of this uh, folder and simply right click and paste here. Just right click, will be pasted. So you got the command, right? Chrome.exe, this is a command. Chrome.exe hyphen hyphen remote hyphen debugging hyphen port is equal to give some port number 9183 I gave and give this attribute hyphen hyphen user hyphen data hyphen die and give one folder location that you newly created and press enter. The moment you press enter, you see the Chrome browser got launched. This is nothing but a new Chrome profile that is there in your local machine. Okay, a profile got created in your local machine. Don't close this. Don't close this one. Okay. When this is open already, go to this, you know, Eclipse ID and go to one project. 
and you need to write this code. I'll write this code freshly so that you'll understand all the stuff. First, what I will do is uh, I'll first create an object for Chrome options. Chrome options options is equal to new Chrome options like this. I need to create an object for the Chrome options for the mode on the Chrome options and import the Chrome options from Selenium library. After that is done, say options dot set experimental option command. Call this command and here you have to give some attribute saying this one debugger address. This is the one you have to give. Okay. Debugger address. Debugger address. Okay. Just see. D P U G G E R address. And other side you have to give double quotes like local host, local host colon. And we have to give the port number that where we have created the uh, where we are running the new Chrome browser profile in our local machine. Okay. So 9183. I gave 9183. So I'll give the same thing in my Eclipse ID 9183. 9183. Done. This part is done. Now you need to launch the Chrome browser. For that, you will say new Chrome driver, right? Over the mouse on the Chrome driver and import. This will launch the Chrome browser. And in this constructor of this Chrome driver, pass this options where we already have set the debugger address to this, uh, you know, that uh, new Chrome browser profile, okay, in our local machine. I simply say driver is equal to, and uh, I'll declare this with Chrome driver again, okay, like this Chrome driver driver is for new Chrome driver. Now, do whatever you want. Already these options, for which you have set this experimental option as debugger address of the Chrome browser profile, new local Chrome browser profile. Already you applied to this Chrome driver. So nothing needed. Driver.manage, whatever the code you want to write, you can write. Window.maximize. You can write your Selenium code. Driver.get. I'll not go more than this. I'll just uh, do one thing. I just need to get the URL. I'll, I'll take it from a different uh, place. Let's say my dot myo dot blogspot dot com this is the application url i want i'll copy this application url okay uh okay it's not coming up blogspot dot com let's see whether it comes yeah it's coming now copy this url and simply paste it here. Okay. I'll just try the HTTPS version here. HTTPS. Is there any HTTPS version? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Press enter. Let's see. Yeah. This is secured one. Let me go with the secured one rather. So I am giving a proper uh, URL. Okay. This is a sample script you can say. And this script, this Selenium automation script should run on the this particular browser, this new profile browser in your local machine. This is not a new instance that is going to be created by Selenium. Rather, this is the local browser in our machine. Okay. Here we need to run. For that reasons, you can right click and say run as Java application. And keep this uh, profile browser, uh, you know, like this. And you can see that in a while, you will see the script running on this uh, browser, you see it got maximized and we are taken to this application. You see, things are working fine, okay? In our local Chrome browser, we were able to run, okay? And whatever the folder we created, right, uh, in this uh, downloads folder, uh, in that Chrome profile directory, there are some files came using new Chrome browsers uh, profile related files came, okay? That's the reason we created that folder. So hope guys, uh, you got the idea about how to run the Selenium automation scripts on a locally opened browser rather than giving a chance for Selenium to launch its own, okay, launch its own uh, new instance of the Chrome browser, okay. So here, whatever the browser that is there in our local machine, on that browser only Selenium automation scripts have run, have been run, okay. So hope guys you got the answer for this question and with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.